Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Come in the kitchen with me today because I'm going to show you how to make a pasta dish that is so easy, so simple. It has so few ingredients and so much flavor. You are going to be pleased and surprised. That's what I'm going to say, pleased and surprised. So come on in the kitchen with me. And better yet, you can make it your way, okay? All right, I'll see you there. Okie doke, thanks for joining me today. The first thing I'm going to do to make our uh, bow tie pasta with sun dried tomatoes and green olives is we're going to cook the pasta. Now, I don't need this whole box, but I am going to cook the whole box. Now, if you know the correct way to pronounce that, let me know. I just call it bow tie pasta. <laughs> so, and what I have, this is actually, it's not the largest bow tie pasta. It's a fairly small, but it will expand. So I'm going to, I've got some salted water here. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And I'm going to cook it according to the box directions. And you're supposed to cook it uncovered, uh, stirring occasionally for 13 to 16 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer for 16 minutes and see where we go from there okay now I do have I'm going to turn this down a bit I don't want it to boil over have you ever had pasta boil over icky uh, what I have here is some green olives uh, this jar cost about 79 cents at Aldi and what I have here is um, a jar of sun-dried tomatoes that I actually put in the jar and uh, I put a little oil in there to kind of rehydrate them a little bit. This is just vegetable oil. I could use olive oil, but I don't have any. So that's great. That's fine. Um, let's jump in the Wayback Machine, and I will show you how I process these, the package of sun-dried tomatoes, and where I bought them, because you're going to be excited about that. Okay, let's jump in the machine. We're going back, and I'm going to show you what it is. These are sun-dried tomatoes. I already opened the package. <laughs> these are sun-dried tomatoes. I get these at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. They are awesome. I discovered these last fall and I have been buying them ever since. Matter of fact, I have made them part of my my uh, pantry because they're so good and they're so useful. I actually check these out at Amazon and they're much more pricey than they are at Dollar Tree. Anyway, this is what this is what they look like. They're just tomato halves which are sun-dried and um, so check them out if you can. Um, this is what they look like and also they come in a resealable zip bag and um, but after you open them you must keep them refrigerated. Okay so this is what they look like. They look like this and they literally <clears throat> they're just tomato halves. Aren't they beautiful? These are awesome. <laughs> so I just opened this bag. I will put it in the refrigerator to save for another day, but I'm going to use some of these in my pasta dish. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and it doesn't matter how you cut them, just cut them however you like. If you've never tasted a sun-dried tomato, you should because they're very delicious. Um, they're tart, they're kind of tart and sweet and really um, 
in this state, they are chewy. But before I make the dish, I'm going to cut them and I'm going to put them in this jar. I'm going to, and they also feel, they'll feel moist. They don't feel crunchy. They're very soft. These are very moist. That's why you need to refrigerate them after you open them. And I'm going to uh, put a little bit of oil on them. Now, this is vegetable oil. If I had some olive oil, I would put olive oil, but I don't have any. But I do have this. So let me grab a lid real quick. There's nothing like being prepared. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of give them a little bit of shake. I'm going to let them sit here for, um, I don't know, until I'm ready to make my dish, which might be in an hour or two, so it doesn't matter. I'm not going to refrigerate them like this. I'm just going to set them out on my countertop. And that's it. All right. Phew, wasn't that a wild ride in the Wayback Machine? You don't want to take that ride too often. <laughs> All right. The pasta's done. And I've got a pan here. I've got some cold butter. Now this is going to make enough for, you know, one or two people. You can expand it however you wish. So, I also have used olive oil for this, but I don't have any olive oil. So, I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to got to grab a spoon here. We're going to take our sun-dried tomatoes that have been rehydrating in the oil and we're going to put them in the butter. Now I'm going to save this oil because it's got the good sun-dried tomato flavor in there and we like that. So, okay, get this heat turned back up a little bit. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just saute our sun-dried tomatoes. <coughs> Excuse me. The air is so dry here because of winter. Are you experiencing the same thing I am? I just can't seem to get enough water because the air is just dry. So, anyway... We're going to just saute this a little bit, get the, some flavors going. I've got it turned down on medium low. And then we're going to, because <clears throat> we don't really want to crisp them or anything, and you can see that your, your butter or your oil will start to kind of turn pinkish. Okay? All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do, you notice I haven't drained the pasta. In. Some people say they can't hear me when it sizzles, so I'm going to put the pasta in. <laughs> and I'm not concerned about the water because I'm going to use the pasta water as well. That's why I have not drained the pasta. I put an ample amount of pasta in here. Get that stirred up, turn my heat up a little bit. But my pasta is already hot. Now, this pasta cooked for actually a total of 13 minutes um, and uh, so it's al dente and um, that's fine now you can see that the pasta is starting to take on the color of the sun-dried tomatoes as well I can smell those tomatoes they are really 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 good I'm going to in now I want this is really more of a method than anything. I'm going to put in some uh, dried onion. You can leave that out if you want to. It does add some nice flavor. Or you can put in fresh onion. You don't have to use the sun-dried tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes if you want some uh, really nice um, 
uh, small tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, whatever you like. Turn the heat down a little bit. We, sometimes we have to keep adjusting our heat. Now I'm going to pour some pasta water in here. Got my ladle to do that. This does not take very long. And this pretty much makes its own sauce. Now, you can add garlic in here if you like. You can add, um, at the end, you can add Parmesan cheese. You can put some lemon juice in here if you want to. Um, that's for the fun of it. Let's put a little garlic in here. Just a smidgen. And I'm going to put some parsley at the end as well. So I'm going to turn this down, let it cook, and while we're doing that, we're going to chop up some of our olives. Let's bring you up here and you can see what I'm doing. Put in as many green olives as you want, and like I said, use whatever you want in your, in your pasta. It honestly... It's just a method of doing it. But just use the same method. Okay? Try to get some. My, my olives rolling away. They're trying to get away from me. Oh, <laughs> I like a considerable amount. We're going to chop these up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to chop them. We're going to add them in towards the end. If some of them are whole, that's fine. They'll look pretty. Now, I'm going to add some pepper to this dish, but I'm not going to add any salsa because, or salsa, salt, because we're going to put some brine, olive brine, in here, and that's going to make it really tasty. That's going to give it that really wonderful olive taste. Another thing, if you want to finish this off with a little half and half, a little cream, Parmesan cheese, uh, Parmesan uh, Reggian, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter because it is your dish. Now, I'm going to go for some more pasta water because you see that's cooking down. And I will finish, and turn the heat back up, I will finish this with a uh, some cold butter before I serve it to eat. This can make one or two servings. It depends on your, your uh, what, what you want or how big your appetite is. Done, doesn't the bow tie pasta look pretty? It just looks, I don't know, it looks pretty. But you can make it with any pasta that you want. Okay, any pasta whatsoever. Turn the heat down a little bit. Now, I'm going to put these olives in here. trying to run away from me. Some people don't like olives. Um, my son and my granddaughter do not like olives. They do not eat olives at all. So let's take some of this brine. We're going to pour that in there and bring our heat back up just a tad because we poured the cold brine in. And let's just kind of give this a little, mmm, that's nicely salty. It's briny. It just really tastes nice. Let's put a little bit of pepper on there. Salt makes food taste good. <laughs> yes, it does. Let's put some parsley in there, give a little more green flavor, color and flavor. I keep tr always try to keep dry parsley in the house. Now, isn't this looking beautiful? Now we're almost done, almost done. Let me move this. And I'm gonna grab a bowl. I like to eat my, my pasta in a bowl. You eat your pasta however you want. So, all right, let's finish it off with a nice healthy pat of cold butter. Put that in. Get it stirred around. This is 
so good. I hope you give it a try. It's very simple, very easy. Now, if you want to put um, oregano, basil, uh, if you want to put maybe a little um, pepperoni, salami, you can put some leftover chicken. Honestly, it's whatever you want to do, you do it. Because it is, it's your dish. I'm just basically showing you a method here. See how it's starting to get a little more creamy? That's what we're looking for, and that's what that nice butter does. And so at this stage, if you want to add some cheese, you would put your cheese in there um, at this point. Okay? All right. I'm going to turn my heat off because I can feel, feel that the sauce is thickened. I can see that. And... Gonna bring you over here so you can see my the bowl I have here. Put this like I said, I like to eat my pasta in a bowl. You can do yours however you wish. I'm gonna take a little taste here. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. It's it's salty and briny and uh, it's got the distinct flavor of the sun-dried tomatoes in it. I'm not going to put any cheese on mine. You can, if you want, you can do whatever you wish. This is more than enough. This is more than enough for two people. You can see that it is. So, awesome. So good. So delicious. Hold on here. I'm going to do a quick swipe. Also, this is so good with breadsticks or some garlic bread or, honestly, whatever you like. Now, if you want some lemon on here, put a fresh squeeze of lemon at the end, which is really, really delicious. I'm going to move this off the heat so it doesn't keep cooking. And I'm going to grab a fork here and let's try it. I'm hungry. This is my this is my dinner. It's my supper. So, see there? Look how nice it looks, and it's creamy. So you don't have to add cream or milk or anything like that to it. Uh, that little finishing off with a little butter is really good. It's so miserable and cold out, and my cat wants to go out, but I won't let him because it's too cold for that boy. I know, Bubby. I know. I know. And he complains until he wears himself out. <laughs> All right. I got to get a um, piece of olive here, too. This is so good. Now, if you don't want to use the butter, you don't have to. It'll cream up without the butter. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. It's really, really delicious. Listen, I hope, I hope you give this a try. I think you'll really, really like it. It is pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and olives, and it makes its own sauce. So I think you're going to like it. Listen, I love you. If I can do it, you can do it. And you know how inexpensive this is. You know it is. So if I can do it, you can do it. Make it for yourself, make it for your family, make it for lunch, make it for supper. I've even had it for breakfast. Yes, I've had it for breakfast. Okay, I love you. And as always, you just remember that little is much when God is in it. Okay, love you. I'll see you later. Bye.